weapon is so weird. Like, how does it even work? That sounds like a good topic for a video. <laughs> Out of all of the weapons in the Halo universe, none are as confusing as the Needler, and we're going to find out how it works today. So to do that, we need to know all of the strange things that happen when the gun is fired. Let's create a list of all the things the gun needs to do. 1. The needles get sucked down into the gun. 2. The needles then get fired out of the weapon's muzzle. 3. The fired needles track their targets slowly. 4. When embedded in anything for a short time, the needles fragment. 5. When multiple needles enter a target, they explode. And finally, reloading the weapon is a simple flick of the wrist, which causes needles to pop out of the top of the gun. It is a very complex weapon, and to make it even more confusing, it is stated in Dr. Halsey's journal, Dr. Halsey being one of the smartest people in the Halo universe, that the Needler has completely baffled scientists, having no internal parts in its firing mechanism, rendering the weapon completely impossible to reverse engineer. So how can we, a bunch of nerds on the internet, figure out how the Needler works if people 500 years in the future can't? Well by using our noggins. So when you think of confusing things, magnets may come to mind. Magnets can cause things to move without moving themselves, so it would make sense that the needler utilizes magnets in its firing mechanism. Magnets can explain how the ammunition gets sucked down into the gun and track their targets, but if the needles are magnetized, they would get drawn to all sorts of metal objects, not just their targets. And when examined closely, the needles don't have enough room inside the gun to make that turn from the top of the gun to the muzzle. Magnets still could be at play, but we'll get to that later. Inside the gun, something happens that causes the needles to make this impossible turn. It's like the needles teleport. Teleporters do exist in the Halo universe, but in the Needler's official summary, it is stated that the Needler requires no reverse-engineered Forerunner technology to function. Forerunner technology includes teleporters, so the Needles aren't teleporting. No, the trick of the Needler isn't magnets or teleporters, it's gas. If the Needles are broken down into gas form, they would be able to make this impossible turn to exit the muzzle. And that could also explain the Needles' rugged shape, as if they were just formed. Plus, pink gas and fragments are expelled as the weapon is fired and reloaded. In the first Halo game, Needler ammunition is placed as a large chunk of Blamite. But it's a large chunk of the stuff, not a pack with multiple needles in it. So here's what might be happening inside the Needler. The Blamite chunk inside the weapon is melted down to a gas form, where it is then able to escape through multiple holes at the top of the gun. When reloading, you flick your wrist and the needles pop out of the gun. This is most likely a variation of a gyroscope, that thing inside your phone or 3DS that enables you to play motion games. When the correct motion happens, the Blamite is pushed out of the gun and solidifies into sharp needle shapes. When the weapon is fired, some of the Blamite is pulled down. You can see that the whole needle isn't consumed and some of it is left poking out of the top of the gun. The Blamite is then turned into a gas and is pushed towards the muzzle of the gun. How is it getting pushed, you asked? The Blamite has magnetic properties. So magnets and their magnetic fields are pushing the Blamite gas throughout the weapon. Thus, there would be no physical moving parts. When the Blamite passes through the weapon, it is combined with some other gases. One being some gas that causes a chemical reaction with Blamite after a certain amount of time, which causes the fragmentation, and with enough needles, the explosion. And the other gas would be some gas that propels the needles forward, albeit slowly. This is why the fired needles have long trails behind them. But how does the needle seek targets? This next part is where it truly baffles humans. Blamite is a very rare substance, only being on one moon in the entire galaxy. It is said to have special properties that even the elites who make the needler don't even understand. So what is it? The Blamite is able to receive information sort of like a microchip. When the gas starts to solidify when exiting the muzzle, it passes by these prongs, 
these prongs then give real-time information to the Blamite as it passes by them. This information being the location of the wielder's target through a scanner at the front of the gun. This theory is supported as the needles can't follow targets that are behind structures. It also explains how humans can't reverse engineer it. It's a technology that is far too advanced for humans to understand. That being a gas that is solid and can receive information from a microchip and uses magnetic fields and other chemical reactions to do a bunch of crazy stuff. It, it's complicated. Give humans a break. The weapon fires automatically, which means all of this is happening very fast. An interesting thing to note is that the rate of fire for the Needler has been getting faster and faster in each new Halo game, going from this to this. It's like the Covenant are finding ways to speed up the Needler's internal process. This same kind of process can also be used to explain how the Needle rifle and the Blood of Suban work too, just with a stronger propellant in exchange for the Seeking technology. Likely because that gas is passing through the front of the gun too quickly for the information to transfer through. So the Needler uses a complex gas formula to operate how it does. Which is quite awesome, and completely understandable how humans just don't know how it works. I mean, I didn't even cover everything, like how can a gas receive information? That's just baffling. And again, really, this is only a theory. Does it affect how you play Halo? No, but it's fun to think about. So until next time, keep thinking about stuff and stay awesome. And if you're a big fan of Halo, then check out Scoopa92's channel. He helped me out a ton with this video. The link, of course, is in the description. Thanks again.